I see you got sick. Yes, and it hurts me a lot. I understand, but in this precisely moment, a huge battle is going inside your body. The good soldiers of our body always win, right? Mostly? Yes. But there are times when fighting becomes more difficult and it can cause a severe diseases. What? Why? Let me explain what happens. In the world of our body, trillions of cells work hard to make our body functions properly. Most of them have the major histocompatibility complex class 1 or MHC1, which shows that everything inside them is okay. But it's not all a bed of roses. Your body is threatened by millions of invading pathogens. <coughs> Our healthy cells have been taking over the most harmful pathogens, causing them tumors and serious malformations. Tell me there is a way to stop them! Sure, and that's why our body has developed killer superheroes, killer lymphocytes to be exact. The natural killer cells, members of the innate immune system, because they recognize abnormalities immediately and they don't need to prepare for them. Once a cell has been infected by a pathogen, it expresses less MHC1 and also it sends many warning signals. As soon as the natural killer cell recognizes them, it sends perforin bullets and the granzyme bombs that destroy the cell through apoptosis, the programmed cell death. But that's not all. Natural killer cells alert their peers leukocytes through messages of cytokines, especially macrophages, which increase their defense system of pathogens digestions, phagocytosis. The cytotoxic T cell, members of the adaptive immune system, because it has been highly trained about its enemy, they are very specific in their destruction. They use receptors, however, they take longer to activate. Once a cell has been infected, the MHC1 now presents the antigen of the pathogen. The cytotoxic T cell is sprawling around if someone needs to be destroyed. It recognizes that antigen. Also, its CD8 core receptor recognizes the MHC1. Apparently, it has not seen this antigen before, so it takes time to mature and to produce clone reinforcement with the same receptor. Then, like the natural killer cells, it sends perforins and bombs of granzymes. Finally, the infected cell dies through apoptosis. But you know what is the most amazing thing about them? Once they know who their enemy is, they will recognize them for decades. Wow! But what can I do to help them? Remember that vaccination is super important to prevent viral diseases. It permits the lymphocytes to become experts, acting faster and more powerfully against invaders.